Newsflash! You are not always going to want to go to the gym. You're not going to always want to work out. You're not going to always want to be in your diet. But these are the seven tips that I have used for the last 20 years to keep me going, to keep me motivated, and to keep me excited about the things that I'm doing. About to talk to you about those right now. So you know those days, maybe in a week, maybe it's a few days, who knows, but that moment when you're like, I don't feel like doing it. And a lot of times people don't talk about it, how the depth that it goes, the amount of guilt. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Make sure you stay to the end because you're gonna write down all seven of these. These are simple, but they're incredibly impactful and will keep you going strong. Number one is a great one to start just because it's so simple, but it really does pay off. All right, so it's about to keep reminders around. Not only calendar notifications, but pictures of maybe someplace you wanna go or maybe the clothes you wanna fit into. It's about having maybe somebody that you really idolize. Maybe they have a particular physique that you like, but keep things like that around. Why is that important? You will see those things and you're like, man, or, oh man, I, I gotta get going, I gotta get going, I gotta make sure I get that done. Because you will forget why you got started. It's just a fact. It's not that it doesn't matter, but by just design, we will go for what the easiest path is. And sometimes the easiest path is not doing anything. No, keep reminders around. For two, it's it's a little risky, and I wanna pre give the preamble with this. It is a little risky, and I'm about to tell you why after I tell you what it is, but let others know about what you're working on. Let them know your journey, let them know your goals. And it's it's important to know that you need to be careful who you share your goals with, because not everybody's gonna be in support of you doing that. Not picking on people, just a fact. But what that does is, we tend to be that person that we want people to see, Especially in the beginning because you want to do that and you're gonna talk like these big goals and You're gonna be talking about these things and people get inspired by that and they want to see you win And so when you're letting people know what you're doing what you're working on they're gonna ask hey Hey, you know Vernon did you get to the gym today? Hey Vernon did you make that low carb recipe today? And then you're not gonna to want to be a liar and you'll be like yeah, I did and you'll either go to the gym or do that recipe or go on that jog But it works every single time because you want to be congruent, right? Number three is to find a friend Find that one friend, that one friend who will be there with you. Even if you walk slow, even if you go to the gym and you're doing half the reps, even if you're stretchy and you're barely putting that much effort into it, but they will always be there. And this isn't the fact true, the, a case for everyone. But for some of us who can find those friends who have reached out to that gym buddy, who have that person's okay with going to the grocery store in the middle of the day to find those healthy food items, keep that friend around because it will keep you going. Their strength will be something that you will build on. And then the next thing you know, you're half stretching or halfway doing this and halfway doing that, you'll just start getting into motion. And as you create that motion, you'll get into it and you're like, boom, back on track. Number four is big because we mentioned this in the other videos and we got a link for that right here. And it's talking about making sure you reward yourself, making sure you congratulate yourself, making sure that you have fun with it. Because if you're not having fun, you're not gonna do it. Too many times there you're told that you have to complete this big task before you celebrate. Wrong. You need to celebrate throughout. So if you're having that tough week, because things are gonna happen, you might have a tough day, a tough week, but things are gonna happen, they're gonna throw you off and get with your energy. You know, I got my son running around, just got different things that are happening and it can get to you. But if I know that I'm rewarding myself every week or every day that I know it's a little bit tougher, it makes it that much easier because I'm like, oh wow, I can see a goal other than the one that I don't wanna stay on maybe at this particular moment. Five is a big one. I mean, all these are big, right? But five is something significant because it's about getting ahead of it. Now, I prefer, and I'm always suggesting to clients, especially everyone who is in the Happy Meal community, I'm always letting people know, prepare for the tough times. But number five is about putting those work clothes by the door, putting that list by the door, put it right by the floor, so no matter what, you will see it. Because when you get tired and you don't want to do something, you're going to be like, oh, I've got to find my shoes and i got to get the keys. And oh my gosh, I don't feel like writing that list out. Take care of those things when you are motivated, when you've just left the gym, when you're excited about a recipe. Write it down, put it right by the door front and center because it eliminates an excuse before the excuse even gets there. Number six requires a little prop. I'm a very visual person. I'm, I have to see some things. I'm always drawing my goals out and that's one of the big ways that I consider that journal and I draw it out. But number six is about making sure that you keep track of your goals in a different way. Being visual, I use that to my advantage. And I have a calendar that I use 
and I put sticky notes on it. And you can get so creative with this. You can do so many different ways of doing this. And you can put smiley faces to show maybe your mood that day, but that day. But guess what? It's still showing that you're going. And what that does is it tricks your brain. Now it has a metric other than the fact that your desire and want. It's like, I want to get more colors up there. It's one of the ways you can keep track of things and make sure that you're staying ahead of it so that way you can see it. Like seven days, you hear seven days. I went to the gym seven days this week or four days. But when you see it, and you put this someplace really visual for you. And so I like to put it in the ugliest place possible. Some place that almost looks like, why would you do that? Forces your eyes to be successful. Like, oh, I want to make sure I do this. Use it. Start small. Start with something completely unrelated to what you want to really want to do. And it will start to create momentum. If you want to go to the gym, you don't feel like it, do something small. Go in the refrigerator and maybe throw some old food out, okay? Or maybe you wash dishes, or maybe you make the bed, or maybe you brush your teeth. I don't want to hear anybody say anything about making a bed, that's a southern thing, let it go. But anyway, but just start a task, and what that does is it creates an energy in you. And you're going to start moving around, and as you start moving around, you're going to start thinking about other things. Because most times when we don't want to do something, we're sedentary. It doesn't, you know, create energy. It just kind of diminishes and that's what it wants to do. It wants to save the energy, so make it work for you. Start with something small that might even be unrelated, but start. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. You know, in the Happy Meal community, this is where I will be holding your hand to make sure that the hard parts aren't hard. We're going to be doing these things together. So if you want some more information about the Happy Meal community, look in the comments below. We've got a great link that explains so many different things. Thank you again so much for watching. If you love videos like this, and I know you do, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we have some great videos coming out to you. Videos just like these.